the Wabu, that's it, that's his name, has created this video, 50 things we have all done in Geometry Dash. Now, we're just going to look at this video and see if I, if we ha if I have done all these things in YouTube. Probably done some peculiar things in the game. Possibly punching a hole through your screen when dying to a level, or not blinking when trying to beat a level. Here, however, are 50 things every jump thrash player has done at least once in their lives. You sure about that? So check how much you've done from this list. Enjoy. Number one. Trying to request being a moderator of the game. That that's a thing you can do. You you can do that. On the with your request button, just for the very, very tiny chance that Robtop might have given it to you without your knowledge. 2. Playing a level before the song is downloaded, because you don't have any patience when trying to play it. No, I wait for the- I- I- it's- I just wait for the song to download. <laughs> I just wait. I like waiting, but I have- but I, I- I'm not gonna play a level without the song. Level. Number 3. Playing Stereo Madness and straight flying as straight as you possibly yeah. can in the ship game modes to feel okay, very that. <laughs> Numero 4. Checking out the history of levels you've worked on and seeing unnamed zero everywhere. No. I name all of my levels. I have, I have, I think 15 levels, none of them are unnamed zero. And none of them are even, not, I haven't even verified most of them, so... Uh, <laughs> that, uh, that's something. The standard level name you get after not naming your level. 5. The peak of being bored. Clicking the icons on the Jump Thrash home screen since you have nothing better to do. No. No, I did that because I wanted the achievement. Number 6. A funny number is incoming. Something every GD player has done is trying to find obscure IDs like 10 million or 69696969 to see if they exist. 7. Back when you still were a beginner GD player, you had- Okay, I didn't do that, but... You know I didn't. Like the... I, yeah. This. Back when you still were a beginner GD player, you had no experience with building levels, and you of course wanted to get this beautiful icon you'd get if your level received 50 likes. Since your building skills were pretty crappy, however, you messaged hundreds of people if they could- No. I'd say I made a pretty good level when I first started out, actually. It's not that good. It, it did not receive 50 likes. Probably because it never, was never verified because I never did it. But also, I don't, I don't just message people to like the level. Yeah. Like your level. Number 8. Randomly scrolling through the main levels without any reason. Number 9. Opening the recent tab to play shitty levels before... Yeah, uh, wait, wait, oh, over this one, no, wait, no, no, not this one. You I keep hundreds thinking of about it while the like video is still playing and it doesn't eight. work. Randomly scrolling through the no. Okay, maybe, maybe I accidentally scrolled past a level I was trying to get, so I just scrolled all the way back. For no, it kind of unnecessary, so, yeah. Main levels without any reason. Number 9. Opening the recent tab to play shitty levels before playing actual good levels in the game. Number 10. No, I, I, I played the recent tab just because I want to see what people create. After, uh, after I had already played some good levels. Trying to get your level into the magic tab by spamming and copying as many objects as you possibly can into the editor. Then realizing it's not going to work since the magic tab somehow... Yeah, because the magic tab doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> Only has good levels in it. Besides this one then. Number 11. Checking if your latest post has gotten a single like. It hasn't. 12. Trying to beat the hardest levels in the game in practice mode to feel like a pro, even though you probably aren't. Where I find no clip versions. I just look up auto or no clip and then fail horribly because I don't know how the level is supposed to go anyways. 13. Staring aimlessly at your screen for who knows how long to rethink your life decision. Numero four. No. That, I, I see why someone would do that though. Along with all the other ones. 14. Typing random numbers in the search bar to see if any level pops up. Number 15. <laughs> Once again. No, not really. 
disliking every comment on the level after adding well, your name aimlessly at your screen yeah, for who knows how long to rethink voice. your life decision. <laughs> Numero 14. Typing random numbers in the search bar to see if any level pops up. Number 15. Disliking every comment on the level after adding your comment to it to get the most liked comments. You sneaky bastards. 16. Search. I just like comments that I, I, I don't know. All the vault codes on Google since there is no way to guess them without it. 17. Wait, wait, wait. Adding your comment to it to get the most liked comments. You sneaky bastards. 16. Searching all the vault codes on Google since there is no way to guess them. No, I, I found the uh, vault codes on Google. I didn't. I, I used them, and then and then uh, it and then it crashed. So I didn't get them, but but it didn't save. But I didn't use them again because I don't like the icons that you get from the vault. And without it, seventeen. Trying to befriend famous Jump Trash creators and YouTubers. How I know people do this? Well, on to number 18. Thinking the top 100 people in the Jump Trash leaderboards are the best players to exist in the game. This, however, is not true when looking at some people with way worse statistics. 18. Thinking the top 100 people in the Jump Trash leaderboards are the best no. players to exist in the game. This is because I got into Geometry Dash from, from documentaries about it. Met, uh, a few of which briefly explained that there are people who got a bunch of stars in Geometry Nash. Star grinders, and there are people who grinded demons, not getting as many stars. Demons. There, there was something like that in one of Matt Mart's videos, so. No. Okay. This, however, is not true when looking at some people with way worse statistics doing this. 19. Thinking your crappy level can get a feature and sending it to as many mods as you possibly know, only to discover none of them liked it. Number 20. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, just if, if you. You've seen the levels that people make. So if you're gonna message a bunch of moderators, make sure that your level is good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it can de decorate, make it good gameplay. Doesn't. Doesn't have to be white space, but still, I don't see why people do that. Think swag routes on easy levels, since otherwise they are just too boring and too easy. Twenty one. Every jump trash player once felt the need to exercise in their lives during GD. That's why number twenty one is doing a normal push up while playing GD. Since you can't. No. Maybe in the future, though. But that, that doesn't seem very practical. To ever stop playing your favorite game, John Thrash, of course. 22. Playing levels at faster speeds to feel like you're way cooler and way better at the game. 23. Choking at a hard level because your heart rate. Stop playing your favorite game, John Thrash, of course. 22. Playing le levels at faster speeds to feel like you're. No. Reason? Wait, wait, was that a speed portal or is that? number 21 is doing a normal push-up while playing GD. Since you can't ever stop playing your favorite game, John Thrash, of course. 22. Playing levels at faster speeds to feel like you're way- So maybe, like, a wave part with is just a faster speed portal. Maybe I could do that. But I don't have Mega Hack V7, so I don't have any form of Mega Hack. So I can't actually speed hack the game to make it faster. That is something that I would do though. Way cooler and way better at the game. 23. Choking at a hard level because your heart rate is going nuts. This happens to way too many players and led to some devastating fails. 24. Something apparently a lot of players do. No, because I haven't played hard levels because I'm not good enough. Take a break and immediately dying after unpausing the level. Not sure why you would do this, but if you do it, explain to me in the comments why. We are almost halfway. Okay. Pausing. Usually sometimes I do have to pause, but I try to not die after unpausing. Half the time it actually works, but yeah, I agree. With number 25, which is a pretty sad one. I'm warning oh, you. Oh, usually I, usually I just wait until after the attempt. Checking out if you got a message from someone on your profile. 
was realizing you were still truly alone. I got a message from someone saying they wanted me to subscribe to their YouTube channel. This is probably because I have not friended anyone in Geometry Dash. Well, no, I have actually, but no, I don't, I don't, yeah, I agree with that one. I agree. Six. Manually restarting a level to respawn quicker so no valuable time is lost. I don't really do this because I'm lazy, but I get why you guys... I understand that. I don't do that, but... Uh, 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 yeah. Do it. 27. Beating a level, going right to the comments, and flexing your victory in the comment section. Waiting for someone to congratulate you, even though that never happens. Number 28. Holding at the start of a level to see how far you can get. Number 29. Oh, I do that one so much. Also, I like how he's still using the same icon from... Uh, getting 50 likes. Number 29. At a certain point in our Geometrist career, we experienced a terrible fail in the game. So terrible that we deleted the game since the rage was just too bad. Wait, wait, what? Holding at the start of a level to see how far you can get. Number 29. At a certain point in our Geometrist career, we experienced a terrible fail in the game. So terrible that we deleted the game since the rage was just too No. <laughs> Bad. No. One hour later, however, the game had been installed on our device again. It was just too addictive. 30. Making the weirdest faces while playing Geometry Dash. Yeah. 30. Oh, I don't know why that. Yeah, that guy makes weird faces. That one guy. Ah, but no, I don't. I just eh, play the game. One. When you are far into a level, always having the urge to check the percentage bar, and when you take a millisecond to check out the percentage bar to see how far you are into the level, you die immediately. Numero well, why would you check the bar? Just turn percentages on. I used to not know. I used to just... At one point, I looked through options and found, and I just couldn't find the percentage bar. So I just never turned it on, but like... Eventually, I just found, oh, neat, there's a percentage. Because there's no reason why you wouldn't use the percentage. You can just, like, look at the number for half a second and still be... 32. Let's open the editor and start building the greatest level I've ever made. Five minutes later. 33! Wanting to play a two-player level, but realizing you don't have any friends to play. Eight. Five minutes later. No, it won't. I don't know what this is about. Is it like just taking five minutes to figure out that what block you want to place? Because that can happen. Or just the fact that you build a something kind of good. You have this cool idea. You spend five minutes on it. Maybe even ten minutes. And you just realize, I don't want this. Delete everything and start over. Both of those have happened to me, so, yeah, I agree. 33! Wanting to play a two-player level, but realizing you don't have any friends to play with. Um I have uh, I have friends to play with, but they're just worse at the game than me, so, you know what, yeah, sure. Or 34. Opening the daily chat to make a nice conversation with someone, only to realize there are hundreds of children spamming random words in it, making it impossible to do so. No, not really. 35. Using a top geometry display at their icon set, cause you think it will also make you better at the game. Another thing you might have done to feel like a pro. No. Okay, may, okay, Riot has cool icons, but... I, okay, maybe with Riot's icons, because they look cool and would be funny. That's it's the reason. 36. Right? Beating no-clip versions of famous really hard levels to see how well you would do in them, and still ending up dying. Third. <laughs> yeah, true. Very true. Something we've all done is searching levels with our name in it. Always the curiosity to check if the 0.01% chance a level dedicated to you was made and uploaded to the servers. Number 38. I Having your it. quest unclaimed for basically your entire Chumthrash career. 
39. Peacefully oh, building on a 1% chance a level dedicated to you was made and uploaded to the servers. Number 38. Having your quest unclaimed for basically your entire jump thread is correct. Okay, I leave them unclaimed for like 10 days because I just don't realize that that they should be gone. I actually do my quest. I claim them and then I, you know, kind of pay attention to, to what I'm supposed to do for the next quests, but... Eh. 39. Peacefully building on a level, nothing going wrong for hours upon hours until your game randomly crashes and all your progress has been lost. 40%. Scratch. Yeah. <laughs> my uh what 41 in the main yeah I, it, you know what surprisingly that makes sense because you yeah level geometrical dominator trying to jump as often as you can in this specific robot section of the level no but i've tried to jump as possible as much as i can on stereo madness always pressing the low detail mode button on the bottom left corner of the screen no matter how many objects the level has 43 well, some levels don't even have low detail mode, so the PC just lags. I don't do that one. I only press low detail mode if I play it, and then I and then I and then there's lag. For completing a single level, just playing a level for a few attempts after you get bored and move on to the next level. We are nearing the end, boys. But okay, we aren't definitely. But I save the level in favorites if I like the level, so I just end up going back there and spending another five attempts on it and then moving on again. Eventually it'll work. Done yet, since we are now on number 44. Trying to do the Polar Guys force spike jump for no reason whatsoever. 45. Beating a level just because that's good music, even if the gameplay is terrible. Since we are now on number 44. Trying to do the Polar Guys force spike jump. I've seen people do it, but I can't. For no reason whatsoever. 45. Beating a level just because that's good music, even if the gameplay is terrible, the beat is just too good to skip. 46. Okay, well, if, if, it's, if the gameplay is that terrible, then I'm just gonna go and leave and then use that same song in the editor to make a level that I actually like. Leaving your fingers from the hands you don't play the game with on specific keys on your keyboards. No. But in, but in the hand I don't play, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do with that hand? When, where do I... <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It's just, it's just unnecessarily uncomfortable. Because otherwise it just feels very uncomfortable. 47. Excessively saving your accounts do not lose any progress. I don't save my account. Number 48. Seeing an incredibly cool level on a YouTube video, then trying to play it and realizing your potato computer made the level way, way too laggy to play. 49. Sometimes. Searching for not safe for work levels in the jump thread search bar, and don't lie to me, even the purest jump thread soul has done this. Last but not least, 50. Subscribing to Webu. Goodbye. I have not. Oh, it's Webu. Okay. No, I'm not subscribed to Webu. Was that the slope of 87? Hmm.